हाउ टू प्ले ग्रैंड थेफ्ट ऑटो वी ऑन योर मोबाइल अ डिटेल्ड स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड फॉर यू टू गेट स्टार्टेड जी टी ए फाइव स्टाइलाइज एज जी टी ए वी एंड ग्रैंड थेफ्ट ऑटो वी इज अ नाउ आइकॉनिक एक्शन एडवेंचर वीडियो गेम दैट हैज कैप्टिवेटेड गेमर्स फॉर वेल ओवर अ डेके सेट इन द फिक्शनल स्टेट ऑफ सैन एंड्रियस The game offers players the chance to navigate a richly detailed environment, engage in heists, and experience a variety of character-driven stories. However, there isn't an official GTA V mobile port available. Unlike its predecessors, GTA V cannot be experienced on the go, limiting its availability to PCs and consoles. The game has been around for a long time now. and it doesn't look like it will be available for mobile devices anytime soon although there isn't an official gta v mobile version you can still enjoy the game on your mobile device if you own it on steam you can easily stream gta v on your mobile device using steam link how to play gta v on your mobile steps here's what you'll need Playing GTA V on mobile through Steam Link could be the best way for you. This method works on both Android and iOS devices, but you need to have a copy of GTA V installed on your PC via Steam. Additionally, you'll need to download the official Steam Link app on your mobile device. Fret not. You don't need a premium gaming phone to enjoy GTA V. as most medium to high range mobiles can handle the game through this method without any technical issues however a fast and stable internet connection with low latency is essential for smooth gameplay on your phone here's how to use steam link before purchasing a copy of gta v on steam ensure your pc can run it by checking the gta v system requirements After buying and installing GTA V on Steam, create a GTA profile and launch the game on your PC. After this, just follow these steps to get into the action. 1. Prepare your PC. Make sure GTA V is installed and running on your Steam account. 2. Download Steam Link. Install the Steam Link app on your mobile device from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Steam configure Steam link Open the Steam client on your PC Navigate to the Steam tab and select settings In the settings window go to remote play and check the box for enable remote play Click on pair Steam link to generate a four digit pin Char authorize your device Launch the Steam link app on your mobile device It will scan for your PC and prompt you to enter the four digit PIN displayed on your PC. Once authorized, your mobile device will appear in the list of available devices on your PC's Steam client. Punch start playing. After successfully pairing, perform a network test on the Steam Link app to ensure a stable connection. Once verified, Open the Steam Link app and navigate to your Steam library. Locate GTA V in your library and launch the game. Play GTA V on mobile gameplay tips. For the best gaming experience, consider using a compatible controller with your mobile device as touch screen controls may not offer the same precision. Get into the GTA V world on your mobile device through Steam Link. Although an official mobile port isn't available, this method allows you to enjoy the game's immersive gameplay wherever you go. Grand Theft Auto V is one of the best-selling video games of all time. Developed by Rockstar North, it was initially released on Sat 8th generation consoles way back in 2013 and only made its way to PC in April 2015. PC gamers had to wait but our version of the game released with an entirely new first person mode along with a more fleshed out online mode 
This guide will take an in-depth look at GTA VS graphical demands and what type of PC hardware you need to play the game to your satisfaction. If you just want to know what to buy without all the in-depth analysis, you can skip to the recommendations sections. GTA V runs on the Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, Rage, the engine that Rockstar has been using in one form or another since 2006. The game contains a lot of advanced settings, including levels of shadow detail and anti-aliasing that are getting more common in newer PC releases. The game is quite tough on PC hardware. You will require a very solid build in order to play GTA V on its highest settings, especially with full anti-aliasing. With that said, the game is still playable on mid-tier machines. GTA V official hardware requirements and specifications before discussing how various PC components influence your performance with GTA V, let's take a look at the game's minimum and recommended system requirements, according to Rockstar Games, official minimum system requirements. Processor Intel Core 2 Q6600 at rate 2.40 GHz or AMD Phenom 9850 at rate 2.5 GHz. Memory 4 GB RAM. Hard Drive 40 GB Free HDD Space. Graphics Card NVIDIA NVIDIA 9800 GT 1 GB. Graphics Card AMD AMD HD 4871 GB Official Recommended System Specifications Processor Intel Core i5 3470 or AMD X8 FX8350 Memory 8 GB RAM Hard Drive 40 GB Free HDD Space Graphics Card NVIDIA NVIDIA GTX 662GB Graphics Card AMD AMD Radon HD 7870GB GTA V GPU Requirements As with most games, your graphics card will have the greatest impact on performance in GTA V and while the game doesn't quite look as aesthetically strong as other modern PC games, because it was created with consoles in mind, the fact that it's an open-world game means that the draw distance is quite long, i.e. the game renders objects that are far away from the player, which requires significant graphical power. According to our own testing, in order to run the game on maximum settings at 1080p, the in-game counter recommends that your GPU have 4,000 MB of VRAM. This is the game basically saying that you would need a GPU with at least 4 GB VRAM at 1.8.0p. It is still possible to play the game on high settings with less VRAM than this, as even Rockstar Games recommends graphics cards with 2 GB of VRAM. GTA V RAM Requirements Rockstar's minimum specification calls for 4 GB of RAM while the recommended specification calls for 8, which is reasonable. We recommend 8 GB for most gaming PC builds. GTA V Graphical Settings Guide GTA V SPC version has a remarkably large amount of settings which the user can tweak. Here we will list what each does and the impact that they can have on each user's frame rate and performance. Choosing the best settings for GTA V Grand Theft Auto V is a very demanding game. If your computer can manage to get at least a steady SAT FPS with all settings at their maximum, we recommend that you keep those settings. If you are getting below SART FPS, though, you can try lowering some of the game settings. Unfortunately, lowering multiple settings will not have a cumulative effect on frame rate. If a setting gives 10% improvement and another gives 10%, lowering both will not give 20%, but between 10 to 12%.
to improve your frame rate, try the following steps, ordered by how they affect the game's visuals. Anti-aliasing, this has some of the largest impact on performance. If you want to get higher FPS in GTA V, we recommend turning down your anti-aliasing settings, as long as you don't mind the effect on visuals. Improve FPS, slightly, with little to no impact on visuals. Distance scaling, lower this to under 30%. Shadow quality lower this to either high or normal. Reflection MSA lower this from 8x MSA to at least 4x MSA. Water quality lower this to normal. Improve FPS moderately with a small impact on visuals in addition to the above. Extended distance scaling lower this to under 30%. Shader quality lower this to normal. Reflection quality lower this to either high or normal. Improve FPS by a large amount with a moderate impact on visuals in addition to the above. Population density lower this to between 25 and 0 percent. Grass quality this makes the biggest difference if you are getting frame rate drops in heavily forested areas. Lower this to normal. Post FX lower this to normal or high. Turn MSA off. Very last resort. Set everything as low as you can tolerate.